So what is rooting? How do you root your phone? What can you do with root access? Should you even root your smartphone in 2018? And lastly, is it even safe to root your Android phone? Let's begin. So first things first, what is rooting your Android device? Well, in the simplest form I can explain, it is gaining administrator access to your phone and gaining the privileges so that you can write into your system partition. So what I mean by this is that on a regular stock Android phone, even if you can view your system folders and files, you cannot delete it, you cannot change it, you cannot replace it. But with root access, you can do whatever you want with every single file on your phone. So even if it is a super important system file, you can go ahead and delete it. Now, I'm not telling you that you should do that, but what I'm trying to tell you is that you can do anything with your phone. You can literally change any file, delete any file, replace any file, even if it's a system required file. You can do anything with your phone and rooting is a process that helps you gain those privileges. So how do you root your smartphone? Well, rooting requires two steps. One is getting a custom recovery, and the second is to use that custom recovery to flash something like Magisk or SuperSU. Now, the part where you gain the custom recovery is the hardest part because it's device specific. Meaning, I can't tell you how I did on my A5 because it'll be different for your phone. And likewise, it's different for every single phone. So the way you find it is the simple way that anyone would do anything in 2018. You Google it. You literally have to Google, let's say for example my A5, Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 with the model number followed by root guide, root process or root instructions or any of those keywords and you will end up with either a YouTube video or a XD developers thread that will help you root your device. And fun fact, let me throw this out there for the Galaxy Tab A10.1 2016 no one had a root process in that community. In fact, I became the first YouTuber to post a video on how to root that device and I was even put on the X8 developer's website. And I had to put my tablet through so much suffering, so much of trial and error in order to figure that out. So I really invested a lot of time in learning about rooting. So once you have root, what can you really do with your root access? For once, you can actually edit your device ID, you can change your device name, product, whatever it is, and make it seem like you have a different device. And that is something that I did in my Fortnite video. Something else you can actually do is you can get custom ROMs on your phone, meaning that let's say my phone stopped getting official updates after Android 7, even after my support gets stopped by official Samsung, the community will keep building custom ROMs so I can get Android 8. And there are big ROMs out there like Lineage OS that you can actually get on your smartphone even if official support is stopped on it. So there are so many things that you can do with through like if I were to talk about all of them, I would run out of time, my SD card would run out of space. There are just so many things but I guarantee you, you will find at least one reason to root your smartphone. The last thing is, should you root your smartphone in 2018? Well, I would say yes, but you need to know that day by day, the rooting community is dying off because Android is actually taking root apps, root features, and actually implementing it onto the operating system as a stock feature. So things like screenshot, themes, multitasking, they were all things that needed root access. But as time went along, Android started to adopt these and now screenshots are built in. Now the theme store is built in. Now multitasking is built in and a lot of stuff is just getting put into the official version but you will still have a reason to root because things like spoofing your GPU, spoofing your device name, the product name, those things will never officially be allowed by Android. So there will always be a reason for the root community to keep rooting. Let me just answer one last question, is rooting safe and will you brick your phone? Well, I've rooted over 10 devices and never have I ever bricked any of my devices. The closest I've gotten is I have faced boot loops, but boot loops can easily be fixed by flashing a stock firmware on top of it. So yeah, to be honest, I can't really speak about bricking because I've never faced like an actual brick. In fact, when people say, oh, I bricked my phone, I really have no idea what they exactly mean by breaking their phone because for me whenever I thought I bricked my phone 
I was able to quickly recover it. In fact, I made a video on how to do it. You can check it right there. And yeah, to be honest, is it safe? For me, it has been. I have never faced issues. Maybe because I do a lot of research. So if you were to get into rooting, one thing I would say is just do a lot of research. Research can always help. Watch multiple videos, read multiple threads, look at the comments of that video, look at the comments of that thread, and just really study the whole guide before you dive into it. And you should be pretty much good to go. And even if you do face an issue, the community is super helpful and they will help you fix your device. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to see future content. And yeah, this is Deck Alpha signing out with today's video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.